Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on my Miltoniopsis orchids that I just recently bought at Trader Joe's. Um, unfortunately, the ones that I had about a year ago that I posted some videos on with orange rot, I lost. Um, I found out too late from a lot of the viewers that I had that I should have been watering these with uh, rainwater or distilled water. Um, any type of water that's really low in TDS because water that's high uh, TDS will kill these orchids like it did with mine. Um, so I wanted to show you something that I found out though uh, in uh, trying to water with rainwater and distilled water. Um, it seems that when I do that, uh, the pH of the water drops really drastically. Um, and that's due to whatever this substance is that it's potted in. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see it here. It's some kind of uh, people, somebody said on my channel uh, that it was a compost and perlite based mix. Um, it holds water really well and they seem to really like it, but it also drops the pH of uh, distilled water um, really drastically. So, um, and that makes sense because um, the buffering capacity of distilled water and rainwater is really low. And what that means is um, buffering capacity is a measure of the ability of a liquid to resist a change in pH. So basically if you have a water that has a high total alkalinity, it'll take more total acid to reduce the pH to the same level than if your liquid had a low alkalinity. Um, so in any case, let me show you uh, what what I was seeing when I did this, just so that you guys can be careful out there and maybe not kill these guys too. So um, I have some distilled water here and I'm just going to measure the pH of this to show you what it is going in and then we're going to look at what the pH is uh, when it comes out and hopefully my pH meter will behave um, there so I don't know if you can see so it's around 7 which is I mean that's pretty much exactly what we expect um, so now I'm going to actually take this and I'm going to uh, water one of these guys that has the same um, compost base mix so I'm going to just water this guy. And then I'll probably let it sit just for... Actually, I may not <laughs> even need to let it sit. So let's see. I'm just going to measure the water that actually uh, drizzled through into the decorative pot here. Okay, so it'll go even lower if I let it sit here for longer. Oh, well, there it goes actually anyway. So uh, you can see it's actually reading, yeah, 4.6. So that's really mm -hmm. acidic. Um, and I have orchids that have not died when I've used water this acidic, and I have orchids that could not survive. Um, it killed their roots. And these orchids I know are really sensitive. Um, at least I've seen from experience and I've read that pretty much everywhere. Their roots are really thin and brittle and uh, I'm pretty sure that watering with distilled water or rainwater like this into this type of mix, if this is what they're potted in, if you get them from Trader Joe's or wherever else, um, you'll probably kill them. Um, not certain, but 4.6 is really acidic, so probably not going to be good. So anyway, it comes with this uh, around the top of the leaves to protect them. Um, and it says Miltonia. I don't know why they call these Miltoniopsis Miltonia, but they do tend to do that. But in any case, um, you can see just the instructions that are on it, just so, just so you know. Um, this is what they sell at Trader Joe's. They're, I think, $15.99 or $14.99. Um, and they're all in this mix. So if you buy a Miltoniopsis orchid and it's in this, just be careful about watering it with distilled or rainwater because the pH is going to drop really low. So I have a jug of RO water here that I got from my local dispenser, um, and I'm just going to show you the pH here really quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pH up this water so that when we pour it through the Miltoniopsis uh, orchid mix, uh, it'll come out in a range of 5.5 to 6.5 like we want. Um, so this is what it's reading now, around 6.6. Uh, so I'm just going to use some of this pH up to raise the pH. Um, and this is the one I'm using. 
but there are many different types. This one, uh, it says 0010, and it's soluble potash, 10%. So let's just try this. I'm going to start out by adding just a little bit because sometimes, like I said, if the buffering capacity is really low, the pH can go up really quickly, up or down, in this case up. So let me just try that. Yeah, and already just two drops took it to 7.5. I'm going to do maybe, or 7.3, I guess it's going down now. Let's try that. Oh, that's really high. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but now we're reading around eight or so. Oh, unless my meter decides it just doesn't want to work anymore. I quit. <laughs> anyway, so 7.8, 7.9 is what we're looking at now. And we're just going to go ahead and pour this through uh, the Miltoniopsis uh, media and then measure the pH once it's come out of here. Um, and it should be then in a range of 5.5 to 6.5 like they would like to see. And so now you can see I'm reading 5.7 or so, which is still low, but I think that they should be okay in this. I've read that orchids like to have water anywhere between 5.5 and 6.5, and I know various minerals are available at different pHs. Um, but in any case, this should be sufficient not to kill them. So there we go. Um, so yeah, if you have Miltoniopsis that you've bought at Trader Joe's like me, um, be careful just watering it with distilled or rain water. I'd recommend getting uh, RO water or um, you could just pH up your rain water or distilled water so that when you run it through the pot it does just like what you saw happen here um, where the end result will be that the roots will be seeing somewhere in between 5.5 and 6.5. Since the acidity could vary uh, depending on how long each orchid's been in its particular pot of media, I would definitely recommend getting a pH meter like this uh, because it's possible that um, many of them do exactly what I've shown here where the pH will, uh, of low um, of water with low alkalinity will drop really rapidly. It's possible that uh, the orchid that you get that might not be the case for. So I would recommend definitely getting one of these uh, if you do really want to try to keep one of these things alive um, and testing what the pH of the water is coming out of the pot when you water it. So yeah, good luck with your Miltoniopsis and hopefully this helps you keep them alive. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.